We are kicking off Black History Month with the Celebrate Black Stories collection, Disney Plus Voices, Bridging the Gap, and so much more. I'm Andre. And I'm Jenny. This is What's Up Disney Plus, where we talk all things Disney Plus. During February, in addition to celebrating Black history, we're also celebrating Black stories, some fictional and some inspired by true events with our Disney Plus Celebrate Black Stories collection. First up, Hidden Figures follows the incredible untold story of the brilliant Black women working behind the scenes at NASA to get John Glenn into orbit, all while dealing with the segregation and sexism prevalent at the time. Next, we're traveling to the incredible world of Wakanda for Marvel Studios' Black Panther. Fearless King T'Challa finds his homeland threatened by an old foe and must suit up as the Black Panther to protect his country. Rogers and Hammerstein's Cinderella features Brandy as the titular character. This diverse retelling of the classic fairy tale follows Cinderella as she tries to go to the royal ball. With the help of her fairy godmother, played by Whitney Houston, Cinderella makes it to the ball but leaves something very important behind. Next in the collection is Ruby Bridges, which follows six-year-old Ruby, who is chosen to be the first African-American to integrate into her school. Facing racism, she is guided by her mother and father to continue persevering in this film that's a lesson for us all. We're almost there as we head to New Orleans with the Princess and the Frog. In the film, Tiana dreams of owning her own restaurant. When she meets a frog prince who desperately wants to be human again, a fateful kiss leads them both on a hilarious adventure through the mystical bayous of Louisiana. What a great collection. You can watch all of these and more on the Celebrate Black Stories collection, now streaming on Disney+. And now here's what's new. The pack is back for an all new adventure. The Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild is now streaming on Disney Plus. Outstanding indeed. Congratulations to the Mysterious Benedict Society on the Director's Guild Awards nomination for Outstanding Directorial Achievement in Children's Programs. An intimate look at an incredible life. From National Geographic, Torn is now streaming on Disney Plus. Disney Plus Voices is a monthly YouTube series that features open and engaging conversations between two black creators discussing their process and passions through the lens of the black experience. Let's take a look. Yeah, when I first started, I didn't hardly know any brothers or sisters. And so it was, it was a little lonely, you know, looking around and, 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 and being the only person in the room sometimes there's some kind of pressure to really kind of speak up and, and perform, you know, when I started here, you know, I was like a trainee, you know, so not only was I kind of like new to the game, but I wasn't even fully hired as a, an effects artist, you know, so I, I felt like not only like, you know, overtly black, but kind of like not even hitting it out of the park as an artist, you know, mm, so yeah, so that was kind of like a little bit of like a stressful, special time because I really, really wanted to show up. But one of the things about in recent years, you know, kind of helping do outreach and and, and and that's the way animation becoming more frankly more popular is that there's more and more black and brown people in the industry, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, it's one of those things you don't realize how lonely you are until like other folks show up and you're like, oh, I didn't realize I was missing you so much. <laughs> that's true. So with everything going on in the world, moving towards racial and economic justice, what role do you see yourself playing in the creation of a better tomorrow? I think uh, for me, um, it's, yeah, I guess it's about intentionality and, or feeling that you, your voice is heard enough to matter. So like, I think specifically at Disney, they've, I've been given opportunities or like spaces, rooms where I'm allowed to kind of like say where, where I'm coming from and hear from other people who are coming from and just really being authentic and, and taking those opportunities to share so that people who don't, you know, have the same experiences as me can like, hear where I'm coming from and, and be impacted by that. You can watch Disney Plus Voices on the Disney Plus YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. In the newest Disney Plus YouTube series, Bridging the Gap, Disney Plus storytellers have open and honest conversations. Taking inspiration from Disney Plus movies and series, each episode will follow a theme that bridges the gap across cultures, ethnicities, genders, religions, and sexual orientations. Now we are so excited to be joined by the host of Bridging the Gap, 
Bria Baker. Welcome to the show, Bria. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here with you both. Yeah, so excited to have you. And welcome to the Disney Plus YouTube family. So glad to have you here. <laughs> it's a celebration. It's a yes, crossover. Yes. I'm the newest member. I'm so excited. So Bria, tell us about yourself. How did you first get started in activism? Yeah, I'm part of that Trayvon generation that came of age right around the time that the Black Lives Matter movement was really getting ignited. I very much um, leaned into that moment of activism. And as I graduated, was like, well, how do I keep doing this? I don't know what it looks like to have a quote unquote career in activism, but I know that I don't want this to be something I'm only doing on the weekends. And so thankfully I jumped headfirst into nonprofit work, social impact and storytelling, because I really do believe that stories are such a powerful way of setting new cultural norms. What does the phrase bridging the gap mean to you? you and how do you apply it in your everyday life? For me, it's all about leaving the echo chamber. I think we've been yelling and, and talking at each other for a really long time. And I'm just really excited to talk to people, especially because the storytellers at Disney are so good at leaving little eggs in all of the series and films. And we have so many sparked conversations, whether that's in our families and amongst young people. Um, but it's really exciting to talk to the creatives behind it and understand how intentional they were about wanting us to see ourselves in one another. Speaking of bridging the gap, what made this project stand out to you? So long before I was attached to the project, uh, the folks at Disney Plus were wanting to just continue to deepen the conversations that people and families are having after they watch these amazing movies and series. And so I was so honored to be asked to audition and then to actually get the job. And it's really been such a beautiful experience because we know that Disney is really amazing at seeding um, really important themes, especially when it comes to young people who are just navigating really intense feelings and emotions. And so to really understand that these creators are not just sitting around thinking, eh, what's the next random thing I can animate, right? Like they are so thoughtful about what they put into these stories. And a lot of it comes from the stories that they wish they had seen growing up. One of our favorite parts of hosting What's Up Disney Plus is getting to talk to creators. What is it like to talk to storytellers about their journey to create content that resonates with so many viewers? It's so surreal. I think, again, it goes back to this idea that activism does not need to look the same. I think when people think of activism, they think of marches and protests, and those things are really powerful and important. But there is so much activism in creating a character that young people can see themselves in and creating characters with really nuanced, you know, storylines too. So not only am I seeing myself reflected, but it feels really honest and authentic. It's really beautiful and it's such a craft. What's been the most rewarding part of hosting Bridging the Gap so far? Prior to the series going live, the most exciting part really was the process, getting to actually meet the animators. I had watched Ryan the Last Dragon myself before I got the gig. And so it was cool to be like, oh, Oh my gosh, I have so many questions and so many things I'm excited to get to parse out with them. And, and so that was really cool to kind of fangirl. It was just cool to just see the people yeah. that work behind the scenes, because I think sometimes we just look at animation and some people are just like, oh, you just make that in a day. It's like, no. Oh boy. <laughs> so to see like all the process, like we, we've talked to people who are literally like, we spent a year just figuring out the hair on one character. Exactly. So it's, it's so true. I mean, even like when you see these, you know, really dynamic and colorful background scenes, and they're almost just as powerful as the main character and protagonists because again it adds so much dimension where you know you're you're watching this beautiful family come to life but you're also seeing just these very regular day-to-day -day experiences being portrayed on screen in a way that feels like whoa I've never seen that on screen. So one of the ways to be an ally is to listen, and Bridging the Gap creates a space for important conversations that everyone should be listening to. What does allyship mean to you? You know, in general, allyship to me is both awareness and action. It's learning about an experience that is very unlike your own, but for the purpose of doing something about it, right? And I think sometimes we feel immobilized by how much we know about the world and how, you know, pessimistic it might feel or how sad and dreary it might feel. Um, but that's where the action comes in. And it's something to be really optimistic about is that yes, there are things that are not so good, but we can change those things. And so with Bridging the Gap, I think similarly, it's all about, okay, so you watch this film, so you watch this series, now what do you do? Let's continue the conversation so that you feel more equipped to go into your faith spaces, your workplaces, your schools, conversations with children. 
having a deeper, deeper conversation about these themes, whether that's immigration, coming of age, forgiveness, right? There's so many beautiful themes that are seated in these films and we get to talk about them a lot more. For people who are interested in the work you do, what advice do you have for them? My big thing when it comes to authenticity and getting started is always to start local. I think everyone's always focused on, I wanna change the world. But if you can take a little bite size out of your community and make your own community a little better, whether that's your campus, your workplace, your home, your town or city, um, it's a really beautiful way to get started. And again, it keeps you authentic because no one knows your community like you do. What can I do to make my community healthier and safer and better for people like me and people not like me? So much is possible there and we get to actually get into some real sustainable change too. So I definitely think that's the way to start, whether that's finding a local organization to volunteer with, or whether that's literally creating some content. The beauty of social media is you can put it out immediately and you can talk about the things that you know intimately and use that as your kicking off point. Bria, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure to talk with you about Bridging the Gap, which is awesome. You're awesome. And so glad to have you be a part of the Disney Plus YouTube community. Yes, thank y'all so much for having and welcoming me so beautifully. And I'm really excited to keep watching. You can watch Bridging the Gap right here on the Disney Plus YouTube channel. We kicked off Black History Month with the Celebrate Black Stories collection and heard from Disney Plus voices and Bridging the Gap. That's our show. Be sure to head on over to Disney Plus to stream all of your favorites and more. We'll see you next time. You finally got into the music. Do you get my joke? Because your head is, it's in the tuba.